So you know how much I love hats, and recently I was asked to make this awesome sailor's hat for a nautical-themed bachelorette party, and I was able to do it in under an hour, and I was able to do it as a no-sew project with some simple stuff I had around my house. So I'm going to jump right in and show you how it's done. So for this project, you're going to need a coffee filter, something to put on the front of your hat, some elastic to hold it on, and a blue ribbon. It doesn't have to be blue, it can be any color. It also doesn't have to be ribbon. Some tape will work just as well. And a piece of poster board. Let's go. First, you're going to figure out the size you need. My coffee filter was seven and a half inches in diameter. A quick Google search told me that that was a circumference of 21 inches. I wanted to add about an inch for glue allowance or seam allowance, which gave me 22 inches, which just happened to be how big my poster board was. I measured four inches wide, enough to cover my anchor, and marked it out four inches by 22 inches to give me the main base of my hat. Cut that out. You should get this fun cylinder shape. I kind of made mine diagonals on the edges also just so I could get a bigger base at the top than at the bottom. Grab your hot glue gun, glue them together. If you cut your edges at a diagonal, make sure that your diagonals are parallel to each other when you glue it so that you get that nice reared funnel shape. After that, you're going to let it dry. Then take your coffee filter and some craft glue and dot the edges all the way around the outside of the coffee filter. Next, take it and slide it down, upside down, inside your hat from the bottom to the top. You want the bottom of the coffee filter to be the top of the hat, so make sure you have your hat facing the right way when you start this. You're going to need to take your hands and a bunch of extra glue and very carefully glue it to the inside edge you should now have this awesome base for your hat. Next, take your blue ribbon. Starting at the back edge, you're going to use your hot glue to make the stripes around the hat. Obviously, if you're using tape instead of ribbon, you're not going to need the glue. But the idea here is to basically make a blue stripe. Heck, you could even paint the blue stripe on if you want. If you're using ribbon, which I think looks the best, then just put dots of hot glue all the way around the edge as you work and you'll get it on there. Make sure to get it nice and even against the top so that it looks even all the way around and it doesn't look like it's whacked. All right, for your bottom ribbon, you're gonna do the same thing for your bottom stripe. Again, if you have tape, you don't have to glue it. Leave a tail on this one on both ends. That way you can make the two ribbons hanging down the back of the hat if you want, or you don't have to. You can make it just a solid ribbonless hat. If you're using tape, it's probably gonna be a little harder to make the ribbon tails, so you may wanna leave those out. Also, if you're painting your stripes on, obviously you're not going to be able to leave ribbon tails. This is why I like to use the ribbons. I think they give you a little more versatility in your final hat look. Once you have those on, you should be just about ready for finishing touches. For my finishing touches, I wanted to add a red anchor to the front. So I found a piece of fabric that had a red anchor on it. And I used the applique method that I showed you guys last week uh, to make the anchor for the front of the hat. I will put a link here to that video for you. Don't forget to add some elastic to your hat to hold it on your head. And then voila, you are done. All right, so that's it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that was a simple enough project for you. Please post in the comments your pictures. I'd love to see your versions of the hat. Please click that like button. It really does help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.